It's an historic day in one city in New Jersey. Patterson's first ever African American deputy fire chief was sworn in. CBS 2's Nick Calloway spoke to him about his rise through the ranks and what he wants to accomplish. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Chief. Yeah. Michael Hall said he was not the kind of kid who grew up wanting to be a firefighter. Yet, here he is, nearly 23 years on the job, second in command of the Patterson Fire Department and the first black man to hold that post. I was never perfect doing a job, but anybody up there can tell you I always tried to do it the right way. Deputy Chief Hall celebrated his historic appointment with his family by his side. He was very smart and he wanted to make sure that not only did he come home safe, but to make sure that his guys came home safe too. If I don't shut up, I'm going to start crying right now. I'm just so proud. I'm so very proud. Chief Hall is incredibly well liked in this diverse department, as evidenced by the dozens of firefighters who showed up at City Hall to congratulate him on his historic achievement. It's not just about the books, uh, it's about knowing the job and he knows the job. Michael Hall's first day of Fire Academy was roughly 23 years ago. The date? September 11th, 2001. You take a career where 343 people get killed on the first day you start it, it does make you kind of think twice. Luckily for the people of Patterson, he stayed, using the tragedy of 9-11 as an inspiration to serve. And here we are, most of us 23 plus years later, still doing this, so I'm, I'm glad it worked out. Chief Hall says he's proud to be a role model for little boys and girls in Patterson and beyond to let them know they too can make a difference in their community. In Patterson, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. Last year, the mayor of Patterson appointed the city's first Hispanic fire chief.